Facts First presents When mother sees what a man is doing to her son, she's forced to do the unthinkable. Michelle Dinkins Penland from Ocala, Florida, has been with her husband and the father of her child for five years before they got married. They were married for about a year when tragedy struck the family. This mother walked in on what a man was doing to her son, and she went over and did the unthinkable. We'll tell you the story in just a moment. First, click that like button to let others know about Facts First. And also, be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss our future videos. Things between Michelle and Mark Penland had been strained for a while. Mark was in the military and spent time overseas. When he got home, he was suffering from PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder. And there are a variety of things that PTSD can do to a person. It can cause anger, irritability, anxiety, insomnia, and nightmares. PTSD is different for each person, but it is pretty common in troops that are returning home from war. And due to this condition, things in the Penland home were becoming tense, but they were manageable. On Michelle and Mark's son's 14th birthday, they had a party for him. Michelle invited her mother over to celebrate with the family, and during the party, Michelle's son went outside to put an empty pizza box in the trash. Michelle was in the house with her mother when she heard Mark yelling at her son. She could hear him screaming, get the F out of my face! But when she ran outside, she saw her husband hitting her son. Michelle and her mother tried to pull Mark off of the boy when he turned on them and began hitting the two women instead. First, he threw Michelle's mother down onto the ground, and then he punched Michelle in the face. While she was trying to get up off the ground, Mark went back after her son again. After punching her son again and again, Michelle went to get her gun and shot her husband. When the police arrived, she told them that she had never meant to kill her husband. She said that she shot him in order to protect her son, her mother, and herself. She told the police she was terrified. Mark was much bigger than Michelle, and she knew that trying to fight him was not an option. The first time he hit her, she almost lost consciousness. Had she allowed him to continue in this rampage, he could have killed somebody. She says she did what she had to do to protect her family. The police brought Michelle to the station and arrested her. She refused to plead guilty, though, because she was only defending herself, her son, and her mother. When the case went to court, the Florida court ruled that Michelle was justified in her actions under the Stand Your Ground law. That law gives people a right to use deadly force against another person if they believe that their lives are at stake. That's how Michelle felt at the time, so the court ruled that she was justified in shooting him. Well, after Michelle was released, she made a statement to the press. She said, now other victims of domestic violence can feel like they can protect themselves and their families. We have suffered a great loss, and I think the only winners in this case are the victims of domestic violence. Hopefully, my situation will show other victims that it's okay to protect their families when necessary. When she was found not guilty, it created controversy in Ocala and all over the country. Many people didn't believe that she was justified in killing her husband because he was not armed at the time. While some people didn't think the shooting was justified, there were others, though, who did agree with what Michelle did. When interviewed by the local news, one Ocala resident said, "...he's beating her son, slams her mother to the ground and punches her in the face. If she didn't kill him, he might have killed one of them. She did the right thing protecting her loved ones." Another resident said, "...too often the mother allows the child to be abused at the hands of a man. I'm glad she protected her child, her mother, and herself." Michelle says that what happened that day at her son's birthday party will be with her forever. While her husband was abusive, he was also suffering. She says that she never stopped loving him, and it breaks her heart that she had to kill him in order to stop him from killing someone else. Many people don't believe in this stand-your-ground law, but there are times when it appears to be a person's only option. What do you think? Was Michelle justified in what she did? If not, what would you have done in her situation? Tell us in the comments below and subscribe for more.